Uh, do you think China has been doing enough to counter desertification? I think they have started and they have to continue to do a lot more and I think they're being more aggressive than some other countries in addressing this desert uh, desertification. The government has designed the Three North Forest Belt program known colloquially as the Great Green Wall. It's meant to serve as the first line of defense against sandstorms. Some consider it to be the largest afforestation program in the world. Picture this, vast deserts, barren and lifeless, suddenly bursting into green forests filled with life. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? But here's the thing, it's not. China has made this vision a reality. Faced with an environmental disaster of epic proportions, they took on one of the boldest projects in human history, the Great Green Wall. With this project, China is tackling desertification, rebuilding ecosystems, and setting an example for environmental restoration. By combining science, sustainability, and determination, this story shows how one nation is leading the fight against climate change and creating a greener, more resilient future. But why did China even need to fight the desert in the first place? And how do they make this impossible dream a reality? Let's find out. Imagine living on the edge of a desert where the horizon is nothing but endless sand. Now, imagine that desert creeping closer to your home year after year, swallowing up your land, your crops, and even your way of life. This was a terrifying reality for millions of people in China during the 1980s. The Gobi Desert, one of the largest deserts in the world, was expanding at an alarming rate. Satellite data showed that nearly 3,600 square kilometers of land, an area larger than Los Angeles, was being consumed by the desert every year. And it wasn't just the sand that was the problem. With it came fierce sandstorms that turned the sky black, making it impossible to grow food or even breathe safely. China, where the Gobi Desert grows by about 3,000 kilometers each year. Known locally as the Yellow Dragon, its expansion has led to many people becoming climate refugees. Entire villages were being buried under layers of sand. People were being forced to abandon the places they'd called home for generations. For farmers, it meant losing their livelihoods. For children, it meant losing their future. Desertification wasn't just an environmental issue, it was a human crisis, and the stakes were enormous. China was already under pressure to feed its massive population, and losing farmland to the desert only made things worse. The government knew they had to act, and fast. That's when they came up with an idea so bold, so ambitious, that it almost seemed impossible. They decided to stop the desert in its tracks by building a wall. Not a wall of bricks, but a wall of trees. Let's talk about this wall of trees, officially called the Three North Shelter Forest Program. It was launched in 1978 with one clear goal. Create a 3,000 kilometer long green barrier to protect the land from the advancing sands. Now, when you hear plant a wall of trees, you might think that doesn't sound so hard. But let me tell you, this was no ordinary tree planting project. We're talking about 78 billion trees planted over decades. Billion. Let that sink in for a moment. The scale of this project was massive, and so was the teamwork. Scorching sandy land in North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, it's the largest of its kind in China. It's a key battlefield of China's ambitious Three North Shelter Belt Forest Program, which aims to mitigate desertification. Everyone got involved. Schools, farmers, scientists, and even the military joined forces to plant saplings. It wasn't just a government initiative. It became a national mission. They even started a National Tree Planting Day where millions of people come together each year to plant trees and contribute to this monumental effort. But here's the thing. Planting trees is one thing, but making them survive in a desert? That's a whole other challenge. The Gobi Desert isn't exactly a friendly environment. It's hot during the day, freezing at night, and the soil is just sand. So how did they make it work? That's where the real genius of the Great Green Wall comes in. Scientists studied every inch of the land to figure out what would grow where. In some areas, 
they planted hardy trees like Siberian elms that could withstand harsh conditions. In others, they planted shrubs and grasses to stabilize the soil before adding larger trees. They also used drip irrigation systems to conserve water, delivering just enough moisture directly to the roots. And when the soil wasn't strong enough to hold the trees, they came up with clever fixes like straw checkerboards, grids of straw that trap moisture and stop the wind from blowing the soil away. It was an incredible mix of science, determination, and sheer hard work. But even with all these efforts, it wasn't easy. The desert fought back. Trees died. Progress was slow. But the people behind the Great Green Wall didn't give up. And eventually, they started to see results. So, after decades of effort, what has the Great Green Wall accomplished? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos related to China. Let's continue now. Well, let me tell you, it's nothing short of incredible. First of all, the Gobi Desert, which once seemed unstoppable, is now retreating. In fact, it's shrinking by an estimated 2,000 square kilometers every year. That's a huge deal. But it's not just about stopping the sand. The Great Green Wall has transformed entire landscapes. Forest cover in China has increased from just 10% in 1949 to a staggering 25% today. Think about that for a moment. Millions of hectares of land that were once barren are now covered in trees. And it's not just the land that's benefited. Wildlife is making a comeback, too. Birds, deer, and even rare species are returning to areas that were once lifeless deserts. Wetlands and grasslands are being restored, creating habitats for countless animals. And then there's the impact of climate change. These trees are absorbing millions of tons of carbon dioxide, helping to combat global warming. But perhaps the most inspiring part of this story is the impact on people. Villages that were once abandoned are now thriving again. Farmers are growing crops on reclaimed land, and families are building new lives in areas that were once considered uninhabitable. It's a story of hope, resilience, and the power of nature. Now, here's a question you might not have thought about. Can desserts become economically valuable? The answer, surprisingly, is yes. The areas transformed by the Great Green Wall are no longer just survival stories. They're becoming sources of opportunity. For starters, ecotourism is booming. People from all over the world are visiting these regions to see the incredible transformation for themselves. This has created jobs and boosted local economies. Then there's agriculture. In areas where nothing could grow before, farmers are now cultivating crops like millet and corn. They're using modern techniques to make the most of the revitalized land, and the results have been amazing. And let's not forget about green energy. Some of the reclaimed areas are being used for solar farms, harnessing the desert's abundant sunlight to produce clean energy. So, what started as a fight against desertification has turned into a blueprint for sustainable development. The success of the Great Green Wall isn't just a victory for China, it's a beacon of hope for the rest of the world. In Africa, countries across the Sahel region are working on their own Great Green Wall, aiming to combat desertification and restore degraded lands. This project spans 20 nations and has already made significant progress, thanks in part to the lessons learned from China. And it's not just Africa. Countries in the Middle East, South America, and Central Asia are exploring similar initiatives. They're using China's methods, drought-resistant trees, community involvement, and innovative technology to tackle their environmental challenges. The Sahara Desert. It spans across North Africa. It's the largest hot desert in the world, one of the driest regions on Earth, but maybe not so much anymore. The Sahara is blooming with life. NASA has released satellite images. They capture the desert's green shift with plant life popping up everywhere, adding color to the typically arid land. The message here is clear. If China can stop one of the largest deserts in the world, so can others. The Great Green Wall is proof that no challenge is too big if we're willing to work together. The Great Green Wall is more than just a line of trees. It's a story of hope, determination, and the incredible things humans can achieve when they come together for a common cause. 
it reminds us that no problem is too big to solve and no land is too damaged to heal. Turning deserts green isn't just about saving the environment, it's about proving that we have the power to create a better future. So, if you ever feel like a challenge is too great, remember this. If we can turn deserts into forests, what else can we do? Do you think anything is impossible in China? Let us know in the comments section. What else do you expect? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. China's projects, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.